Okay, people, and welcome back. So, uh, where we last left off, uh, I was just sneaking in here, murder-killing a whole bunch of bandits in uh, Embershard Mine. Uh, yep. Let's shoot him again. Before he has the time of day to sound the alarm. Hit him, or her, whichever, from that far away. Damn. Missed the arrow by that much. Okay, I've been detected. Ah, shit. Right in the eyes, and you're still swinging, bitch? There we go. Hmm. Ooh! Steel sword. Red apple and a steel sword. That's good. That's good. Usually these got steel great sword. That's better. Greatsword is better than sword. <laughs> Especially considering this is just mostly iron crap. I'll take that. Knowledge is always useful to keep around, especially if I reset all my perk points. Hmm. Yeah, I was very glad to so very easily wipe these bandits out. Surprisingly easy to kill bandits. Especially when they are this stupid. Ah, yes, a hunting bow. That is exactly what I want. Let me, let me get over here to my weapons bar and get rid of this shitty longbow. I will use a hunting bow now. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, charred skeever hide. That's always tasty. No, I'm just kidding. Good for potion ingredients, though. Yeah, I don't understand who for the life of me would want to eat a skeever. Skeever is just generally not pleasant. Hmm. Now we come over here, go down and around here. Okay. Yep. Got the chest. Oh, more iron ore. Let's see here. So, continuing on. Yep, we're about to reach the exit to this cave. And in which case, it means I can level up. And I think smart move would be to go Magicka. And then... Novice Destruction. And I know what many of you are thinking, but you're not using Magicka. And I'm like, well, shut the fuck up, bitch pudding. I'm using all the Magicka I need to use right now. It, uh oh. Where's the wolf pack? Oh, there it is. Ow. <laughs> oh. 
pesky wolves. Wolf pelts and iron arrows. Wolf pelts are good in early game for uh, making leather. However, I'm already wearing steel armor, so that's not really going to do me much good now, is it? Hmm. Mora Tapanellas. Ah, Riverwood. We're safe now. Yes, yes, old lady, we know. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. No. You didn't. What does it say for you to be here? You heard that Ulfik had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Rayloff is so slow. What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? <laughs> Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Sven drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? Huh. I'll be right down. <laughs> oh, they're chattering about nonsense. Do you really know Alfred Stormcoat? Hush, Frodan. This is no time for your games. the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <laughs> I can't remember when I last slept. Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us. You know, I actually slept pretty well on the cart ride over. We knew exactly where we'd be. That was two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. <laughs> they wouldn't dare give Alfred a fair trial. Please. We're fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. Yeah, dragon. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Yep. Oh. So I have a mod installed that adds in, it. well, it's actually a creation club thing. It installs these elemental arrow quivers. Uh, basically, there's special types of arrows that have different spell effects to them. This one, for instance, uh, has the effect of fireball. This one has the effect of uh, frost spell. This one has the effect of a thunderbolt. Well, actually, no. No, let me uh, let me switch back to iron arrows because they are very expensive to use. But yeah, and this one I believe just has really fucking high damage because it's made of bone. You know, splintery bone. Yep. Are we? Really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... 
Nonsense. Lay up for a while. Welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. I don't intend to stay at all. Just let me know. Hmm. Could use this lockpick, these three potions, the silver ring. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We yep. need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in White to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Sure. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? It will be. Mm. So, first things first, let's head to the Riverwood Trader and sell our wares. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, let's... Yeah. Iron dagger. Sell that. Sell that. Okay, apparel. What do I have here that's sellable? Oh, wait. Necklace of Minor Alchemy. I should keep that. Yeah. Ooh. But I can sell those two sil uh, silver rings. And then, uh, let's see. Mm. Okay. Let's see what Lucan has. Hmm. Shame he doesn't have any steel axes. Uh, oh, wait. Adventure's backpack with bedroll. I'll buy that. And a book. Here, I'll sell him some amethyst, some garnet. Keeping the iron, though. Some ruby, and a couple of wolf pelts. That should get me enough to buy frostbite and oak flesh. Yeah. The rest of these I can do without for the moment. I better get back to cleaning. Yeah, let me just... Uh, clairvoyance, frostbite, and oak flesh. These are essential Boy. spells. Okay, what I don't a know. Mess. So, uh, yeah, F, F, and F. So, now. The Riverwood Trader is everything. Uh, yeah, the, we, we did have a, an ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've yep. got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Get those seeds. You should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Yep. So this okay. is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. <laughs> no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. <laughs> well, we're going to end it here, folks. I'll start recording again once we reach the edge of town. So until next time, this has been an MO7 Productions, and goodbye.